atrial fibrillation or AFib as it's uh, uh, called is uh, a, a, an arrhythmia of the heart means that uh, the heart rhythm is not regular uh, the heart has a tendency to go fast at times and, um, and beat very very fast and then slow down suddenly uh, it is a, a the most common arrhythmia the most common electrical rhythm problem of the heart in the entire world most of the time people would feel like their heart is racing uh, and they would feel that they're getting short of breath uh, that uh, they're having a heart attack uh, a number of them would have chest pain uh, and they would feel fatigued um, they will um, uh, feel dizzy at times and a number of them even will have syncope which means they will have passing out spells the way to diagnose it is by getting the history, of course, and, uh, from the patient when it happens, a physical examination, and then performing an EKG, such as the one you see here. The first line of treatment is, is medical therapy to use drugs. And uh, uh, we would use medicines called beta blockers, uh, calcium channel blockers, and cordyron. Uh, the second line of treatment is to use an electrical shock to bring the heart back to rhythm uh, and called cardioversion. The third line of therapy would be to do an ablation procedure which is done uh, in, the, in the catheterization lab in the hospital. And the fourth thing is to do a what we call minimally invasive um, operation called the maze procedure which is what I do. Uh, to surgically eliminate the rhythm. That procedure has come uh, up uh, lately uh, in existence. It has been very successful, especially for uh, cases and patients where the previous treatments have failed. If, the, if it's left un untreated, the, the biggest problem uh, a person faces is the risk of stroke. The risk of stroke is with atrial fibrillation is three to five times higher than if you didn't have atrial fibrillation. And 15 to 20 percent of all strokes in the country, in the United States, is related to atrial fibrillation. It's a lifelong problem. Once you develop the atrial fibrillation, it's better to try to take care of it in the early stages because um, as the heart continues to, to be in atrial fibrillation, the chambers stretch out and dilate and there is a possibility a person will, will develop heart failure. Uh, so it is always important to catch it early because then you can really cure it, especially with the procedure that we can perform nowadays.